Stadium in Moon Township. Uh, just a couple of minutes before the start of today's game, the Colonial Captains making their way. All right, that'll do it for our Trib Total Media pregame show. I'm Chris Shovlin, Brian Cleary with me. We're at Joe Walton. Lance Giese runs up, kicks the football away. It's end over end. It will travel deep. The quarterback is listed as the punter, Chris, but I tell you what, that is actually what it would look like normally when a quarterback tries to punt mm. the ball. They're not known for their kicking skills, but unfortunately, I think St. Francis has no choice, but what a shank right there. Sets Robert Score. Morris. Robert Morris is up six to nothing. I, I think what caught St. Francis by surprise right there, Chris, Brumball, actually, Robert Morris huddled up. Brumball came out to an empty backfield under center. A lot of shifting, a lot of motion right there. You can see a lot of confusion with St. Francis. A lot of finger pointing who has who. Malkovic might have had the first hit on the quarterback, causing him to bounce outside. And Ryan Lewis was there as well again. And Chris, this is what Coach Ferrison is able to do now. You have Ryan Lewis has to go. We're in the first period of play. The Colonials lead 7-0. Yeah, and 7-0 getting the ball back. Great job by the defense right there, Chris. Defense struggled a little bit. Kahari Dixon was sort of finding a rhythm, but they were able to shut him down. Boy, Anthony B did have a step, Chris, and it was just a poorly thrown ball by the quarterback that gave Richards an opportunity to play catch up right there. But if Dreyer throws that ball out in front a little bit more, puts a little bit more zip on it, we're looking at 7-7, but great job by Richards putting on the Jets right there, playing catch up, and was able to knock that ball away. And uh, he was the first man to get there, and as I mentioned, Lamica also playing special teams as well, able to tie him up. Yeah, great job by Ryan Thurman. Here in the second period of play in St. Francis is an extra point kick away from tying this ball game up. Lance Giese is the place kicker. They're going to go with a swinging gate formation from the left side. Of backs as your tacklers. Boy, that's not a good thing for your defense right there. And here he goes again. And Dixon will break it outside of the 50, down to the 40, to the 30. He's off to the races. And finally, the Colonials will catch up with him and bring him down. And the man who tracked him down was linebacker Jimmy Mason down that far side. The talent on the play. So we're going to see the replay on RMU TV. Just a pass out on the right side flat to the 10. And how about Bowman? He was hit at the five, but dragged bodies with him and drived that foot. Here's the kick by Giese. Again, a sidewinder. Warren Fields catches it at the seven, runs up the field of the 10 15. Ooh. Straight ahead, run. Oh, he got cracked hard. And the ball came tumbling out. St. Francis will grab it. It's still loose, fumbled again. And finally, they pick it up. Bishop Neal, but Bishop couldn't wrap him up, and Thermal was able to keep going. Uh-oh. Now, Brumbaugh throwing downfield. Lamica wasn't looking back for the football. It's going to be intercepted by St. Francis, and coming back with the ball is Daquan Minter. Minter cuts near side. Now he reverses field. 45-50 up to the 40-yard line in Robert Morris territory, and finally, he gets collared down. Yard field goal attempt from straight away. Giese puts his foot into it. It's tall. It's end over end. It has distance. It has height. If Everything goes as planned here with the punt. Dreyer is the punter, but he's going to run with the football. 30, 35, up to the near side. 40s tackled on the, the ball. And he was able to just take that ball right into the end zone. Now we're looking at a potential 27 to 7 lead for the St. Francis team. He's now in 10 from the 43. Here's the snap. Hand off to Thermal. He'll run to the right side. Thermal cuts up field. 50, 45, 40. Thermal with a stiff arm. And look at him go down the near sideline, driving the defensive back. Snap. Thermal runs down to the end zone. He fumbled into the goal line area. It's going to be recovered right by... Now. St. Francis doing a great job eliminating his potential to be an impact today. Play fake and an interception now. And the Colonials have the football. And I just see guys just walking around like they're giving up on the game. Here's Marcus Prather in to play quarterback now. He'll heave one downfield. It's going to be intercepted by St. Francis. And on the return with the football comes Malik Duncan. It's going to be a 29-yard attempt. The kick is on its way. It is tall. It's end over end. It has just inside of it. Here's the snap. Placeman is down. Giese puts his foot into it. He's got distance. He's got an end over end kick. It will travel the 41 yard.